All right, folks, this is how you install a seat into a Sprinter van. Um, first of all, if it's a cargo Sprinter van, it's more difficult. If it's a passenger Sprinter van, it's more, it's a little bit more easy. So basically what you do is first there's these tiny little pilot holes. I've drilled mine out, but you can't see them. But there's these tiny little pilot holes. Go ahead and get you a straight edge, make you an outline of where those pilot holes are. Next thing you do, drill a hole right into the middle of the the highlighted section and put a router bit like this a router route out the lines then go to Mercedes or probably just Mercedes now I've gone to Dodge they have discontinued the long bracket you'll need two brackets you'll need to get these two part numbers one the short ones oh let's see the short one is 01 and the long one I think is are the, maybe I have that backwards. The short one is 01 and the long one's 02 maybe. Anyway, you're gonna need two parts. Um, there's two long ones go on the edge. The short one goes in the middle. If you have a two seater, you'll need one long one and one short one. Anyway, once you write out those pilot holes, you'll see that, and you take out the board, you'll see that there's this recessed this recessed uh, floorboard, um, it's really, I guess, the, the metal. Uh, and if you have a, if you have a cargo, or if you, excuse me, if you have a passenger, then there'll be welded nuts in the bottom. And all you need to do is get a bolt and thread the nut, and you're, you're good to go. But if you have a cargo, you have to do it completely yourself. And some people weld the nuts into plates on the box members, um, but we didn't do that, and I'll show you what we did. So, for this one, what we're doing, so let, let, let me, let's, let's show them the box member real quick underneath the here. Okay, so this is the box member. There are two of these on each side, and the longer brackets they go through, the, they are right, sitting right on top of them. So you can do two things. You can either, um, you can weld the nut inside of the, the, the box bracket, or box member, and thread it that way, or you can drill all the way through it, and in that case, um, yeah, in that case, you're, it's a little bit easier, in my opinion. You can't do that on the gas tank side. So on the gas tank side, what we're going to do, since we're not going to do the welding, is we're going to use a one inch, or maybe you can use a tiny bit smaller than a one inch, but a one inch uh, drill bit. And then, so we can fit a socket. We can fit a socket into the box member and hold the nut while we tighten the bolt. So um, that's what we're going to do. Then we'll put rubber plugs into place where we drill those one inch holes. And then... Um, insert them so we can keep you know just keep away from rain and rust and things like that but that's what we're doing right now and we'll let you know how it goes so one little note on the bolts make sure you're using grade 10 you know grade 10 bolts um, so they're strong and uh, make sure you're using lock nuts um, if you're going so for for the middle one if if or and for the outer one since you're going to be in the box member or just in the floorboard this one there's no box member this one there is so we don't and their gas tank is right flush up on that box member so you have to use a short bolt and this will stay inside the box member and then to access it remember you're going to use this bolt cut or this uh bit cut into the box member so you can fit this in and get um, the nut on. Basically you'll need two of these or you could honestly you could use all of these if you want and then just get the one inch drill bit but we're just gonna make it a little bit we had this available so that's what we're gonna do. So basically yeah maybe four of these for one seat and then or six of these for one seat and two of these either way all right just so you, just so you can see this uh, this is a five inch long shaft 
Um, you can get away with four and a half if you want, but a four and a half or a five, it can't be a four. It has to be four and a half plus. And then this one is only an inch and a half, a little bit less, but that's, those are the two size bolts. But like I said, if you get the one inch diameter drill bit, you can do all six bolts, grade 10 bolts with uh, this size bolt. You just have to go inside of the box member. Um, if you can weld, there's ways to weld the nut into place, but we're not doing that today. We're just going because of time and uh, ability. All right. Hope uh, you stay safe.